What's up everyone, KRTUGO back with another F1 2021 breaking point video for you guys. Let's dive in. Casper, we think you can push for the fastest lap. Not now. Yep, we're in a strong position. See what you can do. No problem. Okay, the gap behind is 35.4 seconds. Maneuver. You made it look easy. The gap to the car ahead is 4.8 seconds. the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. Alright, so now I just gotta finish the top ten. There's four laps of fuel remaining. A gap of about three seconds between you and the next car. flag.
will say the AI in this game are pretty okay, aggressive. In the top ten. We have two laps of fuel remaining. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Good, good job, nice overtake. than a lap of fuel now, the tank is empty. How's that, Jeff? P8 and fastest lap. Track is... Track's one of my favorites. Not so great at it quite yet. Still figuring out some of those turns, but that is definitely one of my favorite tracks to drive. Curves on this track are very forgiving compared to some of the other ones. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. I also There's noticed been a huge push from them lately Jackson had a better result this teams, race. And they're certainly proving so it themselves. seems like our talk seemed to help them out a good bit. Brian. Cass, meant to say, nice work on that fastest lap. That's a welcome point, wouldn't you say? Yeah, the team did well. Well, you drove the thing, Cass. Congratulations. Thanks. Look, there are rumors you'll try and wriggle out of the team dinner tomorrow. Put my mind at rest, would you?
I'm coming to the team dinner, Brian. Beautiful place, me boots. Reason to celebrate. You're gonna love it. Is Zoe still coming? Yeah, she wouldn't miss it. Terrific. Wonderful. Are you excited, Cass? Tell me you're excited. I'm certainly attending. Small victories, I suppose. We'll see you there. Thanks, Brian. Sounds so ecstatic about going to the center. Hey, Zo. Hey, hey. Everyone's talking about the team dinner. We're still going, right? Yeah, I guess. Oh, come on, Cass. You'll miss these things when they're gone. Hmm. We'll see. Why did I marry such a miserable man? Because he makes up for it with his charm. Hmm, that's not what I heard. <laughs> yeah, well, don't believe everything you hear in the news. What are you up to? Just emails and stuff. Okay. I think I'll head back to the hotel. I'll see you there. Bye. Alright. Well, I guess we shall go to see this team dinner. I'd like to congratulate you all on a superb performance so far. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do, but uh, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> You've been wonderful. <laughs> well, I'm sure you've all heard by now, but, uh, well, this will be Casper's last season as an F1 driver. And if you get the chance, then please do your very best to change his mind. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Casper. Uh, you will be missed. Anyway, I'll stop talking for once. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening and let's push for four. Look, I know how this works. I've been around long enough. I'm just saying, you have a future here. I've seen a lot of drivers come and go in my time. But you're special, Aiden. You've got the makings of a true great. I mean it. Casper! Hey, where's Zoe? Oh, she's around somewhere. She loves these things. Oh, and you don't? Wow. Mind if we join you? I'll be my guest. Come on, Aiden. Sit. Why didn't it work out between you two? Brian, I'd rather not discuss... I don't care what you'd rather, Hayden. Casper's leaving us, and I know that your agent's been talking to other teams. This could be the last chance the three of us get to chat like this. Who knows? We may not even see each other again after Abu Dhabi. So come on. What's the deal? Listen, I just want to have a nice evening. He's on more money than me. What? Ah, hence the frosty reception. Everybody started talking about my age. Just wanted to prove myself. Prove that I was better than the next flavor of the month. This was not about you, Aiden. I just, I don't know. What about you? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? You wanted Ricardo instead. And you thought I was past my best. What? But that's not true. You're having an amazing season. Could you verify that number for me? That's right. And that's the contracted amount, yes? Yeah. Do you mind if we show him? You two are a couple of chumps, do you know that? And you should know better. I don't understand. No, but he does. <laughs> it would be funny if he wasn't so tragic. I wonder how many points all this has cost us. Well, I'll leave you to it. <clears throat> you can apologize to me later. I don't understand. 
I'm an idiot. Why? Paddock gossip. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, there's been one man at the centre of it all. Who? The man who told me pre-season last year that you signed a better deal. The man who said you thought that I was too old. And that would be the same man who told you I didn't want you signed. Butler? Yeah. And I believed him. How could I be so stupid? You're not stupid, Casper. I didn't think he had this in him. Why would he bother? But look at all the mess he's caused. The crash last year, the fight in Canada. And how much easier has he had it because of all of that? What can we do? Beat him. Hey. Hey. How are you finding it out there today? <sighs> Tough. We're overheating the tires a little through the S's. Yeah, happens. Do you mind if I join you for a moment? Please. They want us to push for fourth. You think Haas are catchable? Maybe. Butler's having a good season. He claims he has been approached by Red Bull. I heard. He is the more experienced driver. I think the seat goes to him. You said it had always been your dream to drive for them. Is that true? Yeah. It is. OK, I'm going to give you space out there. I'm sorry I didn't do that before. I'm sorry too. I want us to push for four. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. Thanks, Casper. I don't know how we make that happen, but thanks. Well, we work together, help each other out. That's all we can do. Then let's do that. Uh, we've adjusted the camber. Seems to help manage the tyre temperatures a bit better. Yeah? I'll get them to share my setup data with you. Just see how it feels out there. Thank you, Casper. Truce. Truce. Well, I'd be lying if I didn't see that coming. Never liked Butler. Had a feeling some of the stuff he was saying was lies. But it is nice to see the team finally getting along. It's just a shame they couldn't have gotten along from the beginning, and they probably would have had more points this season, and they probably wouldn't have to play the catch-up game. But here we are, playing the catch-up game, and trying to beat Butler. Aiden, Casper, hey, have you got a moment? Yeah, of course. That camber adjustment really helped. I guess I just wanted to thank you. Not a problem. Those tires in a better range now? Much more manageable. Thanks. Well, those milliseconds all add up. Brian says we can catch Haas. <laughs> Brian says a lot of things. Just focus on the next race. Thanks, Casper. I'll see you trackside. Well, that is going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.